is a special Listener Terrors episode, with stories sent in by you, our Micro-Terror listeners. Send in your own story at microterrors.com. Welcome to Micro-Terrors. Scary stories for kids, where it's always the spooky season, full of chills, thrills, and spine-tingling spooks. Micro-terrors are family-friendly frights for those ages 8 and up, and while our stories are for younger ears, we are still talking about things that go bump in the night, and some children may not be able to handle what others can. Parental consent is recommended. Now, for tonight's Micro Terror. The Doll in the Swamp by Juno Cabrera, age 8. Sarah lived by McLemony Swamp. For as long as she had known, it had never disappeared, nor had it had dolls in it. One day the dolls just came. The dolls gave Sarah a chilling feeling every time she went there. One day at McLemony Elementary, as she was walking to her desk, she saw that Lionel, Olivia, and Chase were all absent. "'Mrs. Peters?' Sarah asked. Yes. Mrs. Peter answered. Where are Olivia, Chase, and Lionel? asked Sarah. I got a call from their parents, said Mrs. Peters. They went out to the swamp and never came back. Sarah sat down. Hey, whispered her friend Jane, meet me at the entrance to the swamp after school. I want to check it out. Sarah just nodded. Later that day, Sarah went to the swamp. She got that chilling feeling again. Hey! Sarah lapped up. It was Jane. Don't sneak up on people like that, Sarah scolded. Jeez, sorry, Jane replied. Come on! Sarah's legs stayed glued to the ground. You first, she said. Uh, f -f Fine, replied Jane. Even she was shaking now. After an hour, Sarah started to worry. Jane, she calls. Sarah started to walk down the path that led to the swamp. There she found thousands of dolls. Sarah, a voice calls. Help! Sarah spots an arm sticking out from the swamp. She reaches for it and falls in. And a new doll, which somehow looks like Sarah, appears in the trees. The next day, at McLemony Elementary, Mrs. Peters asks the class if they know where Sarah went. The class doesn't answer, because the doll has already got them hanging from a tree, and the swamp is gone. This has been a special Listener Terrors episode with stories sent in by you, our Micro-Terror listeners. Thank you for listening to Micro Terrors. Join us each Saturday for another scary story. For more fun, visit our website at microterrors.com, where we will also have spooky games you can print out and play, like wicked word searches, mysterious mazes, and more. Microterrors.com is also where you can find us on your favorite social media and even send in your own scary story for us to tell. Plus, you'll learn more about our author, Scott Donnelly, who has other horrors for both young and old. I hope you'll join me again soon for Micro Terrors, Scary Stories for Kids. Hey weirdos, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I post videos seven days a week, and while you're at it, spread the darkness by sharing this video with someone you know who loves all things strange and macabre. If you want to listen to the podcast, you can find it at WeirdDarkness.com slash listen.